going on EOC family? This is Paul and Brianna. Here, Olson. Coming to you live from our faith project. Of 2017. Oh. Okay, so we began the process in 2015. We were seriously dating. We knew that we wanted to live in a house, so we began looking. And either we liked the house and we didn't like the subdivision, or we liked the subdivision and we didn't like the house. And during that time, Pastor Cedric had been preaching on dreaming big. God gave us a vision to actually build a house from the ground. It would be the first people from our family to actually do this. What uh, the process included uh, looking for land, so in order to build a house you have to find land you like so then we ran into we found the most beautiful land that we wanted but it wasn't on the market and the person who owned the land didn't seem like he was interested in selling to us young african-american uh <laughs> millennials me and my wife came into agreement and went to the specific spot we wanted and we prayed and put bless oil on the area that we wanted and about a year later, that lot that we wanted actually came up on the market. The specific lot where we threw the oil. I remember throwing the oil on the tree, and that tree is right next to this lot. So it opened up, um, and like we said during our testimony at church, God will use other people who have their power, their ability, their influence, and their resources on your behalf. So the lot opened up, um, so then it... Uh, God actually hooked us up with... Uh, one of the members at church, uh, Derek Taylor with Majestic Builders, he used a uh, favor um, with finding him and he just helped us through the whole process. So me and my wife came across a large seed. We call it a seed because it wasn't enough to meet our need. So God told me and Brianna to both sow it into our man and woman of God's life. So we sold uh, you know, some money into Pastor Cedric and Pastor Joyce's life, and it was the biggest seed that we had ever sown. Within, I would say, 48 hours of us having our seed in the ground, Satan tried to present an evil report. And we just spoke the word. We didn't even acknowledge it. We didn't tell anybody about it. Um, and that evil report actually worked out to our benefit again. So it helped us to go another direction. And that process was even more smooth. It was what we exactly wanted. And it just worked out. So don't get fearful if Satan tries to present an evil report. Just speak the word, stand on the word, confess the word of God. Right, so delay doesn't mean denial. The same grace that you see that is on someone else's life. If you see someone who's successful in their business and you're believing God for your business to go to the next level, so, so into their lives. Um, and you just, well, God will blow your mind. Like he's blown our mind um, completely. And he loves you so much and he wants the best for you. All you have to do is believe. And we said that this house didn't take much. All it cost us was our faith. And so that's that's the testimony. We moved into our house right now. We have three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms with the ability for two more bedrooms and another full bath once we finish our basement. Um, we have everything that we want. Hardwood floors, stainless steel appliances, uh, high ceilings, floor to ceiling windows, uh, office, garage, spa-like bathroom. What else do we have that you like? You like? We have love. We have love. <laughs> 